Harper. The South African Communist Party has given the Trump administration seven working days to furnish a res- to, f- to furnish a response to the list of demands sent to his email address. Or what? Let, let me let me just speak momentarily to you, uh, ANC people, you EFF people, and all you people in front of the U.S. Embassy. You very, you're known around the world as being a lot of loud talking shit talkers. I don't mean to be rude, but you're not very smart people. And that's just history shows you're not smart, but you are fucking with the wrong president. You must be thinking that these are the Obama days. You know, you fucking break a window at the embassy and see what happens. I mean, the quickest way to end up with your friends, slala laka monkey is to start threatening Americans. One bullet, one American, how about one drone, no more fucking ANC? You know, you're fucking with people in a country that is not even slightly intimidated by your weak, loud-talking, murderous, criminal asses. That's just the way it is, okay? You guys don't make a pimple on the asshole of America. I'm talking about the ANC and the EFF and all these commies over there. You destroyed your own country. You had a beautiful country with a, and you have a ton of resources. And you've let your own racist, your own racist beliefs, your own ignorance destroy it. So for those of you not living in South Africa who don't realize that the power, that was a first world country. Now that these assholes are in charge, they, it's a fifth world country. The, the African Rand, I think, is worth about seven cents to the dollar. That thing used to be right on par with the dollar. I think it was higher than the dollar in the old days. You know, now they're sitting there walking around on diamonds and gold and oil and every other goddamn thing. And they're living in squalor because, uh, Ramaphosa, that was the guy's name I was thinking of. Ramaphosa and all the other corrupt leaders are living in 16 different mansions with helicopters and whining and dining and living high off the hog while their own people, they can't keep the lights on continuously. They have to do what's like a rolling blackout. They call it load shedding where, you know, you get power for four hours in this part of Africa or South Africa and then it goes off. And then that's third world, man. And these are the people that are going to threaten Donald Trump and us. I don't think so. Let me tell you something, and I'll end it with this. I was actually very happy. As many of you know, my heart and my efforts are with the South Africans, trying to uh, do what I can to alleviate their own problem living under this, these murderous commie tyrants and trying to get people out that want to get out. But I actually was happy as could be when I heard that they were chanting one bullet, one American, because as much as I would hate to see any American hurt or any innocent person hurt, You know what? I've been trying to draw attention to South Africa for a long time, and it looks like these fuckers are so stupid, they're going to do it themselves. They're going to do the job for us. Because, God forbid, something happens to an American over there, or these assholes attack the embassy. I'm going to be sad, but part of me is going to be like, well, my work is done, because these assholes that run around with their little AK-47s and cutting people's heads off and shit over there in South Africa... You haven't lived until you look up in the sky and see the 82nd Airborne floating down. And you may think you got China over there. There was, no, China is using you to exploit you for your fucking resources that you're too stupid to fucking exploit for yourself while your own government sells you out to China. That's what's going on there. If you guys were smart, you'd stop killing the whites, stop talking shit to Trump, and you start taking your own government back from these, these thugs that have disarmed you and now are whacking you in little groups at a time. You know, uh, these people running around those red shirts, in a way, the more they behave like that, the, the, the quicker this problem will end. Because eventually when you go poking around with a stick, you hit a fucking beehive and Donald Trump is a fucking hornet's nest. And I kind of hope you guys poke it because I want to turn on the news and I don't like sending fucking American boys and girls out overseas to fucking get hurt and killed. But you know what? Like I've always said, some people need killing. Some governments need to be taken down. In South Africa, you need to get yourself on the radar, and you're doing a good job by your little dance there, one one American, one bullet. 
you're not going to fucking pressure anybody into changing its stance on Iran. America loves the Iranian people. It's the government we can't stand. And you're no better. Your government there in South Africa are a bunch of cock biters. That's all, that's all it is. A bunch of corrupt, evil, very ignorant people whose ignorance is so fucking right in our face. You can see it. You can see it right now. They steal from their own people. They lie up one side and down the other. Why America or anybody gives South African, the South African government a dime is beyond me. The, the United Nations is useless. They should be over there right now protecting the white people, but it doesn't fit the, it doesn't fit the communist liberal agenda to give a shit about white people who are being slaughtered and fucking tortured. But those days are coming to an end. And it looks like, thanks to these stupid idiots in front of the embassy, they're going to come to an end a lot faster. So let's keep our fingers crossed and let's hope that this escalates. I like escalation. It's a good thing sometimes. In the meantime, listen, all my brothers and sisters in South Africa that have to live under the hell of this fucked up, corrupt government that you got, stay strong, stay focused, keep your prayers going, and uh, let's see what happens. Maybe this problem will solve itself with a little help from a drone or three. LMS Tactical, stay safe. I'm out.